How's it going, everybody? Hope you're doing well today. So we're going to be talking about programming the new Bofeng UV 5G Mini. This is Bofeng's latest handheld GMRS radio. It is a great little radio. If you're interested in the review that I did on this radio, I have a link in the description. You can go check that out. But today we're going to be talking about programming this radio. We're going to just do some basic programming on it to get you up and going. I'm going to show you how to add custom frequencies, perhaps your local sheriff, EMS, fire, dispatch, those kinds of frequencies, uh, as well as how to navigate the menu, the menu system, how to get into the NOA weather alerts, and some of the basic functionality to get you up and going and uh, give you kind of a practical overview on how to use the radio. So with that said, let's dive in. So what we're gonna do first is just review the radio itself, starting with the screen at the top. It has two displays. The top display is called display A, and the bottom display is called display B. Below that is our first three buttons, V slash M, and then in the center, a button with a blue square around it, and then the third button to the right, A slash B. The V slash M button is what lets you switch between frequency mode and channel mode. When you're in frequency mode, this is the mode you go into to enter an actual frequency with the keypad. And then in channel mode, channel mode is what you use to select the various channels, such as GRMS channels or custom channels that you program. The center button turns the flashlight on and off as well as the strobe light. And then the A slash B button is what lets you select between the top display, the A display, and the bottom display known as the B display. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that right now. You can see here when I push the button, the top display is highlighted. When I push it again to go to the bottom display, the bottom is highlighted. And so that's how you know which display is currently active. And again, to the left, uh, the very leftmost uh, button, the uh, V slash M button is what lets you select between frequency mode and channel mode. And so right now you can see at the very top CH-018, that's how you know you're in channel mode. And if I push the V slash M button, that label switched to VFO, which lets you know that you are in uh, frequency mode. And when you're in frequency mode, this is the mode you're gonna use first to program a custom frequency such as your fire, EMS, or dispatch. So the next four buttons are the buttons that you use to navigate and make selections in the menu. The first button all the way to the left is labeled menu. This is the button you will press to get into the menu. The button to the right of the menu button is an up arrow and the next to it is a down arrow and these are the buttons that you would press to navigate up and down through the menu or to select various menu options. And then the exit button is a button to navigate out of a menu or to go back in various menus. And something to note is that the menu button is also often the select button. So for example, we're gonna go ahead and make a change to the radio. It's a very simple change. We're gonna turn off the beep sound, the, which is the sound you hear when you press keys, and also the voice sound, which is an audible voice that tells you that you're in the menu system. So now what we're gonna do is turn off the voice and beep features. The voice feature basically talks back to you in an audible voice, letting you know sometimes what menu option you're on or just gives you general audible feedback. And then there's also a beep that we're gonna turn off, which is every time you push a key, there is an audible beep that goes with that. And so we're gonna turn those off and this will be just a good way to show you how to navigate the menu system. So we're gonna start off by pressing menu, menu. and we're gonna use the down arrow to go to radio set and press menu again. And then we're gonna scroll down until we see a menu option called voice, hit menu again to select, use the down arrow or the up arrow to select off and hit menu to select off. And you can see that it said save okay. Then we're gonna use down arrow to continue going down and find beep, hit, select, or hit menu on beep, uh, scroll up to off, hit menu again to save, and then you're done. Now we can hit exit then hit exit again to get back to the main radio screen. So what we're gonna do now is create a custom channel with a custom frequency. This will allow you to listen to custom frequencies while being in channel mode. And channel mode is where you're gonna be most of the time when you're communicating over GMRS. So what we need to do to add a custom frequency to a custom channel is first start off in frequency mode. And we can verify that with the label VFO. Whereas if we were in channel mode, it would say CH dash in a channel number. So we've confirmed that we're in frequency mode, which means I can go ahead and type in the frequency for our local dispatch. So that's gonna be 460400. 
And then at this point, technically speaking, we can start listening to the communications uh, being transmitted over that frequency. But what we need to do now is add this to a custom channel. To do that, you're gonna press menu, go down to program CH and hit menu again. And you can go all the way down to CH memory, hit menu again. And we're gonna go down to CH40. Remember there are usually 30 pre-programmed channels on GRMS and you can see here that it starts being channels, uh, custom channels to start being available at 31. But I'm gonna go down to 40 just so I can stay away from the defaults. I'm gonna hit menu again on 40 and you can see it's, it's save okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the exit button, hit the exit button and get back to our screen. Now we're still in frequency mode and what we wanna do is actually switch over to channel mode to confirm that the channel was added. So we're gonna hit the V slash M button to switch over to channel mode. And you can confirm that because it says CH-018. That means we're on the G channel 18 on this radio. And what we could do is just simply type in uh, 040 to confirm 40 has our frequency. What I'm gonna do is just use the up arrow, go through the various channels. So 21, 22, 23, so on and so forth, 30, and then 40, right? Because 31 didn't have anything programmed into it. We programmed the next channel that we programmed was 40. So you can see here it switched right to 40. Now we're gonna make another quick menu change and that is to display the channel number in the bigger font text instead of the frequency, right? So we can very easily see which channel we're on. So we're gonna hit menu, go down to program CH, and then we're gonna go all the way down to CHMDF, hit menu on that, and go to CH, select CH and hit menu. Now exit out, and now you can see CH-40 is in the, uh, the big font, and so you can clearly see what channel you're on. Now what we can do is actually add this uh, to the scanning group of the radio, which will let you scan the GRMS channels as well as this channel 40. So we can go ahead and hit menu, go to program CH, look for scan add, Hit menu again on scan add, turn it on, go ahead and exit out. And now what you can do is hold down the pound symbol. It has the uh, blue labeled up arrow and sometimes on a radio it'll look like the Z, but on this radio it's going to be an up arrow in blue. Again, it's gonna be the white labeled pound symbol. Okay, I'm gonna hold that down. And you can see now that it's scanning through the various channels. Now these are all the pre-programmed GRMS channels and you saw 40 go by, that means that it, 40 was successfully added to the scan group. Now you can go through all these channels and disable scanning on each of the channels if you want, uh, if you wanna only scan a certain number of GRMS channels, or maybe you have a separate dispatch for fire versus rescue versus your sheriffs or your police department. And so you have lots of different customizations that you can do, but you can go and disable um, scanning on the various GRMS channels. You may have a certain set of channels that are active in your area and you just kind of want to listen for who's talking on those and specific communications. So that's it for adding a custom frequency to a custom channel. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to get into the NOAA emergency slash weather alerts. Uh, you can actually get weather reports listening to these NOAA frequencies and they're pre-programmed into uh, the radio. If you have a custom regional frequency for weather and emergency alerts, I would encourage you to create a custom channel with that frequency. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to use uh, the built-in NOAA scanner. So to get into uh, weather scanning, you hold the zero button down. Again, it's going to have that blue icon right here. I'm going to hold that down for a couple seconds. And you'll see here that the radio display switched to a sun and cloud, WX-01. There's a handful of pre-programmed channels. And then you can hold the pound symbol down to start scanning. You can see here it picked up uh, one of our channels right away, uh, 02. So you can see here it's scanning through the various weather channels. And then when it finds an active channel, it'll stop. Just like when you're scanning uh, your, your channels on your radio, the channels themselves. Now I will say this. When you're in weather mode, you cannot hear communications and various things being broadcast um, when you're in weather mode. So it's kind of locks the radio out and makes it a dedicated weather scanner at this point. And of course, to get out of weather mode, you just simply hold that zero key down for a couple seconds and then it will take you right back to radio mode. So what we're gonna do now is just go through the various privacy tone menu options. So when you are in 
channel mode, you can actually add privacy tones to your GMRS channels. In fact, you can add privacy tones even to custom channels, although there may not be uh, much use for that uh, because you can't transmit on frequencies that are outside the GRMS uh, frequency ranges. So what we're going to do is just select a standard GRMS channel. I'm going to go down to channel 18. That's one of the channels we use here at the cabin. And then I'm going to hit menu. And I'm going to go down to program CH, hit menu again. I'm going to go all the way down to RX CTCSS, hit menu again. And then I'm going to select 69.3. And then I'm going to go to TX CTCSS, scroll down, 69.3. I'm going to select that with the menu button. And now I have 69.3 uh, kilohertz set as my CTCSS privacy tone. That means my, this radio on channel 18 only will only filter out communications from other radios that are transmitting with that same tone set, right? So that way it filters out any other communications that are happening on the same channel. So it's very useful if you want to filter out maybe some uh, other people, other neighbors are using channel 18 and you want to use channel 18, but you don't want to hear them, then you would uh, make sure all your radios have the same privacy tone so it filters out any communications that don't also have that same privacy tone. And of course, if you use DCS, DCS is also available. Again, it's going to be in the same menu. Uh, go ahead and do that again so you can see it. And hit menu, go down to program CH. You can go all the way down and you'll see here that there's RX DCS and there's also TX DCS. And so you can use DCS instead of CTCS and it operates in the same kind of fashion. It's just another way uh, that you can filter communications. And those are digital tones um, instead of the standard um, analog tones from CTCSS. Uh, you can only use one or the other. Uh, and so as long as your radios are all using the same privacy tone, you can filter out communications. Now one really cool feature that I want to point out with this radio is the dual broadcast option. What we're going to do is hit the AB button and you can see here that it's set to CH018. What I'm going to do is actually change that to channel 10. Before we do that though, for this display, I'm going to go ahead and make the channel um, and turn that into the main label, right? I don't want to just see the frequency. I actually want to see the channel here. So we're going to do what we did before and go down to program CH, go all the way down and select CHMDF, make sure CH is selected, hit menu again, hit exit, hit exit, and so that way we can uh, see very clearly what channel we're on. So now I'm gonna go to channel 10, so I'm gonna hit 010. You can see here now we are on channel 18 and channel 10, and what I'm gonna do, and remember we talked about before, the top display is display A, and the bottom display is display B. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn the radio to its side, and you'll notice here an A and B button. If you push the A B, uh, button, you will broadcast for whatever you have set for the top display. And if you hit the B button, you will broadcast and transmit for whatever is set in the bottom display. And this is a super uh, interesting feature on this radio. I have not seen any GMRS radios with the dual transmit buttons like this radio has. So it's very handy if you want to be able to communicate with two different groups of people on two different GRMS channels. And so that was just a feature that I wanted to point out um, and just kind of show you how that works. Well, folks, that is a wrap for this video on how to program the UV 5G Mini. If you have any questions, leave a question in the comments and I'll be sure to answer those as soon as I can. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.